Hey, what is up, tech heads? Dalton and Cloud here again. Today we're going to have another video. Uh, this week, as I said before, um, earlier on, we're going to have two videos this week. Here's our second video, and we're probably going to have two videos next week as well. Um, this video is going to be a similar topic than what we had last time. It's going to be the top uh, resources you could find online for coding, but this is going to be more of the paid route if you don't mind checking out a pretty penny here and there uh, as long as you're getting a uh, better bang for your buck over the free resources that are available uh, before we get in today's video if you would not mind please go ahead hit that uh, subscribe button and then smash that notification bell so you can get future reminders for more videos i have coming out uh, again thank you so much for tuning in and let's get on to today's video All right, so again, we have Code Academy up on the chopping block. So uh, I did bring up Code Academy before. They do have a lot of great free resources, but like anywhere else that you'll find, uh, the paid resources are going to be much better. Um, so again, if you pay monthly, you're going to pay roughly $40 a month for their pro plan. Uh, you do get do get a free trial. I suggest you take full advantage of that. Or for the pro plan, it's roughly going to be nineteen dollars a month, uh, which is going to pull you up to uh, twenty times twelve. Let's do the simple math: two forty. So it'll save you two forty. Oh, simple as simple could be. Um, I really suggest this, especially if you are newer to coding and you even want uh, assistance with maybe uh, getting ready for a job interview, right? They have everything from, you know, actually learning the language to how to prep for a job interview, uh, interview prep, um, coding questions you may get, how to uh, make sure your portfolio is up to date or how to add to your portfolio. So these are definitely going to be something that's going to help you out. And then you also get, as you see, the members only content. As I said, a lot of labs, a lot of, uh, in the last video, you get a lot of labs, you get a lot of extra resources you would normally not get. And we'll go through that a little bit here in a second. You get real world projects, step-by-step -step guidance, certificates of completion, which is all great. You could update that on your LinkedIn. So we'll just go down the JavaScript route. That's going to be one of our bigger focuses here today. You're going to see a lot more job opportunities. So you'll see a pathway. So actual pathways for front end engineer, back end engineer, full stack. Uh, and then you'll have, um, they don't show it here. They're, they're mainly advertising the skill paths that you could follow. Um, but they also have access to, we'll just go to this, uh, assuming this is, uh, free content there's going to be in the syllabus you'll you will have um, projects that are only pro so even even the free content that's on here if you want to just use the free content you'll get the lesson for free but then the quit the quiz as well as the project the hands-on project is going to be pro so you get access to all those pro career paths skill paths and then you also get access to the actual uh, project data and all of this extra content for free. Uh, so the, there's an extra, there's project here, project, project, uh, and then just updating your resume. A lot of different things that are out of scope for the free content. Next up is going to be edX. I'm only going to give a little bit of detail about this because I'm not actually using their platform. I could only give you uh, information on what I've heard. I don't know. Now, I, I know a lot of people have given a lot of reviews on this saying they love it, but it's also hard nowadays to tell if these are paid reviews or if these are actual reviews. Uh, and they charge usually roughly between $50 to $300 per course. Um, I do believe they have a subscription service, although I the only subscription service I was able to find was the business one, which was that was three hundred fifty dollars per seat, aka per uh, person from your team. 
so you can use edX. Uh, I believe they're going to be very similar to Coursera, which will go on later on in the course. Although I do believe Coursera is probably going to be a little bit more in depth uh, because they have a lot more um, top name brands uh, coming in and creating courses with them. Another one is Udacity. I actually um, think Udacity has, uh, out, out of the bigger price point targets, Udacity has been in the game a lot longer. So they may have a little bit more experience in this market than others. Um, just because they've been here longer doesn't mean they're better, but that's just my own thought on them. I, I do like some of their programs, uh, for data science and cloud. I've, I've really enjoyed looking at some of their content, um, through different programs that I've been a part of. Uh, I, I do really, I, I've, I've utilized their data analyst one. That was, that was fun. Uh, they, they go pretty in depth as well as I've tried their business analytics that was interesting um you could go on their website look at their syllabus syllabus uh they they are going to be a little bit more expensive i believe a couple hundred dollars uh, let's see if we could find a price here so three months of access is going to run you 419 dollars monthly access is going to be 200 dollars a month um uh, so you're going to save a lot more money going with the uh, three months access versus uh, pay as you go the monthly. Uh, and you can use a firm. It looks like that that's something new that they just added on. You can use a firm so you could do flex flexible arrangement for payments. Um, Let's see if they have, it says three months, but let's see how long the actual estimation for uh, this. Oh, it's a three month course at 10 hours a week. If you're able to, if you're able to drill down and put 10 hours a week, um, these are uh, Udacity. The reason, the only reason why, you know, the long, long, longevity of a program like this being around, more companies are going to look at this and say, oh, okay, you got a micro or a nano degree from udacity okay this checks out this is one of the things we want we were looking for someone with a nano degree or something showing that you could buckle down and and go for this uh certification so that that's going to be something that's a bonus for them being around longer more companies are going to accept them uh as a viable education background Next up is Treehouse. Treehouse has been a long, around for a long time as well. Uh, most of their content was free. Like they're they're in a similar uh, boat as Code Academy, right? Most of their content was free, but over time, uh, they did need a little bit more uh, uh, help uh, keeping things afloat. Um, so they do have some paid programs. Uh, you do get a seven day free trial, and then it's twenty five dollars a month for their courses. Excuse me, I've not had my coffee yet. For their courses. So uh similar to um uh Udemy Pro, you get access to just a base level of courses after you're paying a monthly fee. Um I've actually used their content in the past and I loved it. So I, I personally do like this platform. Um, they their their content has changed quite a bit though. Like for example, this this is the next thing I want to go over. It's a seven day free trial, then it's two hundred dollars a month. Uh, but this is for uh, their tech degrees. So this is for similar to Udacity. They have like sort of like nano degrees, right? They have different uh, sort of degrees you could. You could go ahead and you could put it on your portfolio. Uh, these are these. Remember, this is this is a decent decent penny though. Uh, Two hundred dollars a month. Uh, unlike Udemy or Udacity, where uh, you paid what was that four four seventeen. Um, this is going to be roughly six hundred dollars for the entire program if you buckle down and bust through it because it says three to nine months long for the full stack 
uh, or yeah, the full stack developer for JavaScript or front end web developer. It's still going to be three to nine months for both of those. So uh, that that's going to buckle you down a little bit more. But look, you get access to these different projects you could put put through. Um, a random quote generator. We'll just look at this. Uh, data pagination and filtering, interactive form, OOP game show app, public API request. So a lot of these are going to be things you could just start working on, throwing your own flair and your own spin on it, and then uploading it to your GitHub. And then you have all these different projects that you could show when you're going for an interview that you know how to create and work with. You know how to work with a REST API. That's that's fantastic. You know how to work with SQL Library Manager. You know, how, like like make a SQL Library Manager, a random quote generator. Just showing that you understand the language. Uh, now these tech degrees are good, um, similar to the nano degree because it's going to really hone you down you're you're not going and looking at random courses like like the other program they have you're not just going and looking at random things and seeing what works for you uh they've had people who sat down they know what it takes to do a certain job a certain role and they are are giving you all of their expertise knowledge and what is curated for that particular role and what you need to know to be good and proficient in that role to start you off uh, so that, that's why, uh, it's going to have a premium price because you're paying for knowledge from other people on what they used in their experience. Next up is Coursera plus. Now, as I said, Coursera plus, they're probably one of the most widely accepted as far as if you go and you show, you got a degree from something from Coursera plus, uh, HR is going to automatically checkbox that and say okay great that's going to help you get this sort of bonus uh for your sign for your sign up bonus for when they're evaluating your salary um because coursera look at these names here illinois university duke google michigan university of michigan sas i know ibm is in here john hopkins so these are like pretty big name uh big name companies, big name universities that are that are partnering with Coursera and giving you their knowledge. And uh they you can pay for individual courses or you could pay three ninety nine a year um for access to three thousand plus courses. Now uh th I'm gonna give you an example of one of these courses is actually from the University of Michigan. Uh Python for everybody. Uh, this is this is included with um, uh, sorry with uh, Coursera Plus. Uh, I I do know a lot of people who use this and have actually uh, gotten different Python certificates just by getting uh, learning going through this course once. You get a shareable certificate. You could throw on your LinkedIn. Um, as well as it's University of Michigan. It's a really great in-depth course by Charles Russell. Uh, you get a lot of content to take you basically from zero to hero in Python. Um, although there's a lot of courses also on Udemy that could help you with that as well, but this is going to be more, this is going to help you with your renown uh, and help you when landing a job as far as, you know, that extra bullet that you could you could check off uh, now if you have a great portfolio you don't actually need this that 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 extra bullet but uh, it, it always helps that's why I'm going for my masters I may know this that and the other but anything to help put me above someone else is gonna that's what I'm gonna go for and that's what I suggest to you next we're gonna go through uh, book content so there's a lot of great books out there uh, for example, this has been around for a long time uh, by Al, Automate the Boring Stuff, Practical Programming for Beginners. Uh, these Python courses uh, are, are amazing, right? All of these books are amazing. Uh, this is 18 bucks for the e-textbook version. Don't, don't buy a new version for 44 bucks. Uh, I mean, you could get it on... Uh, 
Um, Humble Bundle. I, I sat it on Humble Bundle a few months ago for five bucks. Don't don't do that. Don't don't get the paperback version for forty four bucks. If anything, get the used version for twenty or get the e textbook for eighteen. Do not buy a forty four new version. I don't care if I get paid X amount in ads whenever I I'm able to get ads. Don't do that. I would rather you pay less money for better content. This book's been around for a long time, and yes, it has great stuff, but I'm I do not want you paying so much money for a book that's been out forever. So so please pay eighteen dollars or get the 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 uh, second edition uh, for twenty three dollars twenty four dollars. Um, that's what I want you to do uh, if you're going for a book format. And also this one by Don Jones. Learn PowerShell scripting in a month of lunches. You could also find he made he converted his book into a YouTube video series. Uh, I'm not gonna go up out and look for it uh, just because it's been so long since I've had to actually use this myself. Um, but go look it up. Go look up PowerShell in a month of lunches on YouTube, and you'll find and look up playlists, and you'll find his playlist for it. He made his own playlist for his book that he released because he he doesn't care about. He, he made a decent amount of money already from it. He just wants to release the content and help people learn. Uh, you could get 32 bucks for the paperback. Yes, in this case, get the paperback because it's going to be cheaper. If, you, if your job uh, involves PowerShell or you know that another role that you're trying to get into, they use PowerShell there. I 100% guarantee this is going to help put you in the light over other candidates who don't know PowerShell, even if they have different certificates that you don't. This is something I, I want you to learn. If you are trying to advance your career and you need, I, and I know this isn't traditional coding, but PowerShell is needed everywhere. Uh, especially if you work in, in a Windows environment uh, or a Microsoft based environment at your work. Okay, next up, it's going to be specific. Uh, we're going to Udemy. Uh, I, I personally love Udemy. Uh, I really do. I, I love it. Uh, so you could pay $20 for this. Uh, this course has been around forever, but uh, they are constantly updating it. Been in the game game dev team. I personally have purchased this course already uh, through, for one of my other uh, friends. They just graduated with their four-year degree. Uh, and they use this course. It really helped them out tremendously. Uh, being a student, uh, it put them above and beyond. And they, upon graduating and after learning courses like this, uh, they had offers from Google. They also had offers from TikTok. Uh, they didn't actually go with either of those. They went with another one that was going, uh, another company that actually offered them their visa. So they don't have to move back to their country. Um, but you know what? This course 100% helped them out. I highly suggest this course if you are wanting to learn C Sharp or if you want to learn game dev and coding uh, for game development. Uh, C Sharp is, and it doesn't have to be for game dev. C Sharp's used in a lot of different uh, aspects. Uh, and this is, if, if that's specifically something you need to learn, this is the course for you. Next up, is going to be by Andre, uh, Andrea, Andrea, I butcher that name all the time. So uh, this is the complete web dev uh, course for 2021, zero to mastery, last updated this month. You could tell it's, it's being updated constantly. Uh, you can't say anything wrong with 50,000 reviews and 160,000 students. Uh, you get over 35 hours worth of content. Uh, a coding coding exercises you get downloadable re resources articles you get all sorts of content from this this is this is going to be great if you're just learning to be a web developer like a basically this is for full stack development this is going to be great for you if you want to learn another specific uh language like coding you could go to dr uh, angela Yu. uh she has this course 100 days of code the complete python pro boot camp for 2021 60 hours of content 
coding exercises, downloadable resources. 15 bucks. I personally, for Python, uh, I'm going to look him up just because, uh, no offense to, to Dr. Angela, uh, I just don't use her content as much. Uh, let me find him. No, nope, that's not, that's a Jose. That's not the one I, I, I do like this instructor as well, but Jose Portilla, if you look up his name, Jose Portilla, he's one of the instructors I, I prefer and go to if you're looking up, uh, specifically for Python coding. Uh, and this is another one that a lot of people love. A lot of people love, uh, uh, Jose, Jose S, uh, Mr. Tel, Telcado or te, Teclado. Uh, so, so, uh, he's another software engineer who has amazing, uh, courses for Python, but here's how it would, I would rank it for anything with data. If you're learn, wanting to learn Python specifically to learn data science, data analytics, uh, backend data like SQL, anything like that, I would go to Ho Jose Portilla. If you want more of the front end side, like you want to learn Flask, you want to learn APIs, integrations, uh, he does have some stuff on SQL, but if you want to learn uh, automated testing with Python, as I said, APIs, GUI development, anything on the front end, Jose S is going to be your guy. Uh, so that's going to be the main difference between these two. One's going to be more back end and data. One's going to be more um, front end and just web dev. That's going to be the main difference between these two instructors. They're both amazing instructors in Python. Uh, it looks like um, but, but it does look like Dr. Angela also has a lot of great content from the amount of reviews she has on her course. Uh, and then there's another instructor I want to point out as far as for coding, uh, Jonas S I, I love Jonas. I love his course. I love all of his content. I have his content for JavaScript. I have his content for CSS and SAS Flexbox. Uh, and I'm also going to buy his Node.js as well as his HTML and CSS courses. I'm going to buy all of his all, all four of his primary courses. I love his content. He he just does a great job keeping you engaged, keeping you awake. Because <laughs> a lot of times I the, the issue I've had in the past is I've gotten very bored and fallen asleep studying coding before. He has a, a type of voice that keeps you engaged, keeps, keeps you alert and wanting to learn more. He's not paying me to say this. I just really love his content, um, as well as Jose Portilla and Ho Jose's S. I have, I have all three of these instructors content. I, I cannot say enough good things about them. Uh, and just in general, there's a lot of amazing instructors on Udemy. Yes. You're going to pay a lot of money for all these courses, right? So uh, 17 bucks. The other one was 15 A couple of these. So if you buy 10 courses, you're looking at, on average, if they're about $15, you're looking on average about $150 bucks for, for 15 courses or, or for 10 courses, right? But the thing is, this is lifetime access. It's $150, bucks, yes, but you're not paying... Uh, $200 a month. You're not paying $400 for three months. You're paying 150 bucks and you have this for life and they constantly update these courses. Uh, let's just go to one of these. So he made this course forever ago, last updated this year, this month of this year. So these instructors are dedicated to their students, making sure they have up to date content. Uh, and you know, they, they, they don't get anything out of updating it. They could just make the course once never update it again. And then, you know, there, there you go. Uh, you get, you get what you pay for and then he'll, he can make a new course next year. They don't do that. They constantly update these courses 
because they want to make sure you constantly have something new you could come back to. Maybe you you get this course and then 12 months later, like for example with me, I go back and I look again and there's new content on there for me to digest and learn about. You don't really get that with these. You you go through, you learn the program, you you pay the $200 a month for the tech degree and then you're done. Now now you now they just say okay, go find a job. There you go. Uh, this, they, they constantly give you new resources you could come back to and learn. Now, that's just my two cents. Maybe you have a different platform that you, maybe you prefer going to Udacity, getting a nano degree or getting a tech degree. I, I personally love Udacity, right? Uh, I've, I've taken their content before. Maybe you like paying a monthly fee in Code Academy. Code Academy is great. Look, you get 20% off right now. Look, go go use this. I don't have a code to give you. Go go use this. 20 off July. Go use it. <laughs> uh, go go give it a shot. Go try it for a month. And then if you like it, go do it for a whole year. Or if you or do the trial. And then if you if you like the trial, then use this and get off the 20% off your whole year. So uh what's that gonna be? What's that gonna run you? 240 minus 24 uh 20%? It's gonna run you. I butchered that. Minus 48 bucks, so it's going to be 192 bucks. For a year of content, 192 bucks of great content. They're going to help you get a job, right? They're going to help you uh, land a job, basically. They will, they, I know people who've graduated from Code Academy and gotten at fang companies. They will spoon feed you the information, they will help you get a job. Um, I personally just think there it's a little too dry because a lot of it is uh, self-study. I do prefer stuff like what um, Jonas has, where he engages with you over virtually over this course, of course. Uh, it's a horse, of course, of course. Sorry. Um, but, you know, these people have discords as well, like where you could also engage with them live so you know you could you could sign up for their for their um program then they give you the discord link right i know i'm part of uh the computer science discord with jose there's people engaging on there all of the time amazing content anyway i rambled on way too much uh if you're still here i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry that uh i rambled so much I hope you enjoyed this. I really do. I hope you found something that you could go and check out to help get you on the computer science path that you want to be in so you could be at the job you want to be in. Yes, these this content is going to be paid, right? But guess what? You're paying a premium to get a premium content. Uh, that's, what, that's the last keynote I just want you to take home with this. Uh, next week, we are going to have a certificate course uh, courses we want to go over yes it's going to be in cybersecurity. so if you're here only for my cybersecurity content we got more stuff for you coming on the way uh and then uh we may have some stuff for uh job prep i know a lot of you aren't here for job prep content i'm sorry uh i i do both because i want to help you land a job um and then we also ha might have some more coding content coming out uh let me know if you want to see more coding content. Let me know if you want to see more job content. You don't. I already know you don't. And then let me know if you want to see more certificate uh, learning content. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.